Africa's big cities have been held back by outdated infrastructure, but some African nations are taking action. They're working on major projects to support their fast-growing populations, and huge construction endeavors are underway. These projects aim to tackle poverty and economic challenges by attracting innovative technologies, and lucky for you, we'll be talking about that today. Over the past two decades, Nairobi's population has doubled, squeezing nearly 4.5 million people into densely packed urban areas. The scarcity of space is causing challenges for residents and businesses, as buildings are closely clustered, limiting natural light. This congestion forces heavy reliance on electricity, even during daylight hours, as solar alternatives are hindered by limited roof space. The population surge has led to unplanned neighborhoods forming around the city, lacking essential infrastructure. In response, the Kenyan government is adopting a forward-thinking strategy for city development, focusing on sustainability and functionality in every planning decision, a fully circular approach for long-term benefits. Just a little over 60 kilometers south of Nairobi, on the way to the port city of Mombasa, lies the location of Kenya's latest smart city, Kanza Technopolis. The Kenyan government envisions creating a comprehensive city from scratch, bringing together research universities, industry, and government. Taking inspiration from Silicon Valley, it's been nicknamed the African Silicon Savannah. The development of Kanza Technopolis, formerly known as Kanza Technology City, has been underway for 15 years. It aims to position Kenya as a global technology leader and is part of Kenya's Vision 2030, a government-led initiative to transform the country into a middle-income nation by 2030. Since its construction in 2019, the project has generated over 400 jobs and trained more than 100 local workers and engineers. With a budget of $14.5 billion, the city is planned to cover over 2,000 hectares upon completion. Kanza Technopolis is designed to be Kenya's future hub for various industries, including business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery centers, call centers, and light assembly manufacturing. As a flagship project for Kenya's Vision 2030 Economic Development Plan, Kanza Technopolis aims to become a world-class city, driven by a thriving information communications and technology sector, supported by reliable infrastructure. Kanza City's master plan follows a stitched framework, featuring a mixed-use bar stretching east to west along Mombasa Highway, intersecting with north to south program bands. These bands include dedicated areas for a university, residential spaces, science and technology, and offices. The city's diverse landscape will also include commercial buildings, hotels, entertainment centers, a science park, a convention center, shopping malls, schools, and hospitals. A distinctive aspect of Kanza Technopolis is its commitment to sustainability. Going beyond just being smart, it's green. From double-glazed windows and solar panels to rainwater collection, clean sanitation, and waste management, every aspect is designed for efficiency and eco-friendliness. Green building practices and sustainable materials contribute to a clean environment, efficient water use, and reduced greenhouse gas emissions. The city's ample green spaces are intended to make it a walkable city with high-quality public spaces, varied amenities, and short commute times. Kanza Technopolis is also promoting urban farming technologies to enhance food security and contribute to wildlife preservation within its expansive 1,000-acre wildlife corridor. As a smart city, Kanza will integrate a network of smart devices and sensors in the urban environment, providing residents with direct access to data like traffic maps, emergency warnings, and detailed information on energy and water consumption. This data availability empowers Kanza's residents to actively participate in the city's operations, lead more sustainable lives, and enhance overall inclusivity. The construction of Kanza City is happening in stages to accommodate its growing population, projected to reach 200,000 people. The project's inception dates back to 2013, with the completion of the Kanza Complex in 2019. This mixed-use building houses offices, a conference hall, and a hotel, all adhering to green building standards and incorporating state-of-the-art smart building technologies. The city's planning takes a holistic approach, considering the entire life cycle of Kanza. Construction materials must be as environmentally friendly as possible, with a focus on local sourcing to minimize environmental impact. Steel structures will play a significant role in Kanza City, offering advantages for green construction such as high strength, durability, and efficient assembly with components precision manufactured off-site. 
The developers emphasize understanding the environmental implications of building an entire city from scratch, and their commitment to locally sourced materials and the use of steel reflects a conscious effort to create a more sustainable urban environment. Steel's infinite recyclability aligns with the city's life cycle considerations, providing ongoing green benefits even after construction and eventual demolition, making it well suited for the creation of sustainable buildings and cities. Originally planned for completion in 2019, Kanza faced setbacks due to insufficient investor funding and legal battles. As of October 2021, only three of the eight planned buildings were finished due to administrative and economic challenges. However, in February 2021, a positive turn occurred with the announcement that 40% of Kanza Technopolis had been sold to investors. The government of Kenya injected $73 million in 2022 to resume construction, and South Korea granted an additional $6 million in March 2023 for the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. Facing delays, the developers were initially discouraged, but as of the latest update, Kanza City has made remarkable progress. Phase 1, covering 160 hectares with around 13,000 residential units, is now at an impressive 90% completion. The city is actively seeking Chinese and Korean investors. The necessary infrastructure, a primary focus in the first phase, is almost complete. Upon Phase 1's completion, it is projected to generate 177,000 jobs and contribute an additional 2% to the country's GDP. The Kanza Technopolis Development Authority, overseeing the city's development, holds a 99-year lease with the central government of Kenya. This grants the authority the power to sublease parcels to developers, finance public infrastructure, and provide incentives to attract investors and tenants. A crucial part of the Technopolis is the 400 kV Kanza substation, constructed by the China Aerospace Construction Group. Expected to supply power to the city by March next year, over 80% of the substation's construction and equipment installation has been completed. The development of Kanza City is reshaping the real estate landscape. As Kanza City progresses towards completion, nearby areas are witnessing a surge in residential developments, attracting individuals who work within the city. One significant factor contributing to this trend is the proximity of the thriving AI river town to Kanza. The Nairobi Expressway, not too far from Kanza, has also played a pivotal role in making living in or near Kanza desirable. This crucial infrastructure link ensures not only convenient commuting, but also enhances the value of land in the surrounding regions. As Phase 1 of Kanza City nears completion, its impact on nearby real estate markets is making a huge impact. The city exemplifies a forward-thinking approach to urban planning in Kenya, prioritizing sustainability, seamless technology integration, and robust economic development. This goal serves as a beacon of progress in the nation's pursuit of a visionary and thriving future. If realized, Kanza would stand as the most advanced African city playing a crucial role in driving economic growth, education, and employment for the entire country. What are your thoughts on Kanza Technopolis? Do you believe the city is a valuable addition to Kenya? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.